Howdy folks and welcome back to another weekly tech tip. This week I'm pretty excited for what we're going to do. I've talked about a lot of these tools before. As people are hearing as time goes on, AI tools are getting way more advanced. They're rapidly progressing and so I wanted to do kind of like a check back in. And I wanted to do it for image generation. So how I want to do this is I'm going to test five free image generators. I'm going to only use what is available to anyone for free. And I want to test them across four different prompts to generate four different types of photos. And then we can compare them and see which free image generators are best for what. So if you haven't got into it yet, uh, or if you have been, either way, I think there's a lot here for you to get in there and start doing some AI image generating. So how I decided to do this is I went into ChatGPT and I was like, hey, what are some parameters for testing you know, these different image generators? And I took four different themes. And then for each one, I got ChatGPT to make me a prompt. So we're gonna do human realism, a photorealistic portrait of a middle-aged woman in a cafe sipping coffee. Her face shows subtle wrinkles with sunlight catching her hair. The background is softly blurred with people passing by. So we're gonna see how good, how much detail we can get, how's the lighting. And then we wanna do one with words in it because AI image generators have been bad historically with words. So we're gonna do a nature scene where tree branches intertwine to form the word growth, seamlessly blending into the surrounding forest. Number three, we're just going to do a nice nature -y scene in fall. And last, we're gonna really throw it a loop and try to give it a really crazy, uh, Absurd scene with a lot of complexity. A floating futuristic city where buildings are teapots, people ride giant pencils, and rainbow conveyor belts replace streets. Giant floating cats in suits juggle flamingos while pies orbit overhead. All right, so now we have our four. So we're gonna go and we're gonna look at five different ones. We're gonna end up with 20 different pictures. We'll look at them as we go, but we'll compare them all at the end. So let's start off with human realism. We are going to start off with Imogen 3 which is from Google. So if you use Gemini, you can generate images right in Google's like large language model or their chatbot, Gemini. But right now it's running uh, version two, but they just released a version three and it'll eventually end up in Gemini. It's just not there yet, especially for us in Canada. Google has this AI test kitchen, which is a really awesome site. Uh, I've done a video on the word effects before. Um, so that's located here. It has music effects so you can create music on it and the video effects is not available yet it's still in like beta it's still early access so you have to apply for it but it also has image where you get to use gen 3 so we are going to pop this in and we are going to create for each one i'll kind of go through and look at which i think is the best one and we'll use that for our competition so it gave us two options I mean, they're both quite good. Like the the wrinkles, those kind of look a little fake in there. I love these wrinkles on the hands though. That's really great. It's blurry in the background. The sunlight's going through the hair. I think this one's going to be our winner. So we're gonna download that uh, onto our next. So for this, we have four options. So the first one, so we have growth. It's spelled correctly, growth. So this one, the shrubberies are actually forming it uh that growth and growth so it did a good job with the word it didn't really get the idea of the branches forming together from the trees this one looks a little more natural so we're going to download that one so here we have our landscapes now these don't look real they look like paintings well i'm not a fan that it didn't go with a photo reel for this uh, we just have to go with the prompt to compare i think this is the best one it's quite lovely the colors are vibrant the deer's actually drinking from the water so we'll download that and then lastly now let's really try to put it to the test so one of the things we're trying to do here uh, is see how many of these elements it's able to incorporate okay so we have our futuristic city. Um, this one's actually floating. So you can see it's having a hard time putting everything together. The cats are juggling, but they're not juggling flamingos. I think we're gonna have to go with the cats riding the pencils because it's the best image here. So that's it for Google's Imagen 3. 
it did a really great job with the photo reel. Um, it did some nice scenery and it did a good job with the words. So as of now, there are no limits on image generation with like as to number of generations you can do within AI Test Kitchen. So you can come in here and just keep generating. And also within Gemini, there's no set number of images you can make a day. It's just like, if you're using it too much, it might kind of tell you to take a break for a little while. So next up we have Leonardo. Now I talked about this one before, but they have a brand new model called Phoenix. Leonardo, they give you 150 tokens a day, but it's not one token for one picture. As you can see, this image, if I was to generate, is 24 tokens. So this one's more of generating like five a day. Okay, so you're not gonna, it does a really high quality work, but you're not gonna be able to pump out a lot of images this way. But let's test it out. So here are our images. Well, she's, she doesn't look real. She's drinking coffee into another coffee. It's a little bit better but does not look photo real. So that one would be good, but she's double fisting coffee. So we'll have to go with this one. All right, so once again, it's spelt it correctly. This one actually kind of had more of the vibe we were going for, but still it's like little tree trunks covered in moss. I like the different styles there. So both ones weren't able to actually incorporate it in the correct way. So this one's not gonna go realistic either. These ones aren't drinking. Ones are. All right, we have our winner from that round. Last up, we have our absurdist nightmare. Okay, this is now where it's kind of seems to be taking off a little bit better. So the teapots are all buildings here, which is pretty great. We can kind of zoom in to see the faces are not really there. So this one, they're not really, we have the pies. They're not really juggling the flamingos. This one has faces. This is as freaky as some of them are. Uh, they didn't get the cats as people. So here we have the people riding the pencils, we have the teapots, we have the pies floating around, we have the rainbow conveyor belts, and it is floating up in the air. So besides the cat, uh, this is really good. I'm gonna have to give it to this one. I think this adhered the most to the prompt. All right, so next up we have Playground AI. Uh, so same idea, let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna call it here. We are at 163 seconds and we still have no image. So, so it's saying peak time, you're on the slower version. Well, there's no way we're waiting three minutes to generate one image. Now you could leave it on the background, it's not the end of the world, but uh, Playground, you are cut from the competition. Up next we have Ideogram. Now Ideogram, uh, I've spoken highly of it, I've done a couple videos on it. They just released their Gen 2 version, so it's even better now. So let's see how it does with these prompts. So the wrinkles are good. It's pretty photorealistic. Right number of fingers. This one actually has some cool like focus effects which makes this look real. Same with this one here. But it's a little, I don't know, there's something off about it. I find this one though looks very photoreal. The wrinkles look great. The subtle bits in the foreground make it look quite real. So the next prompt, uh, the word one, is where I think Ideogram has always been better and it's, I think it still is than any other of these programs. But let's see how it does with this one. For Ideogram right now with the version 2, you can get it 10 generations a day so you end up with 40 images. Um, if you go with their Gen 1, then there's no real limit on it. There's just like kind of a time limit. The more you generate, the more you have to wait. All right, I do not like that at all. <laughs> all right, spelling was good. Okay, at least the styles here match up a little bit better. So I don't think, yeah, we're not gonna get one that has exactly what I was thinking of, so I would have to refine that prompt that's on me. 
but we're just going with whatever the internet says or the AI. So this one I think has the most twisted branchy feel. So I think it adheres the most, it's spelled correctly. Uh, so we will go with this one. All right, I can already see, I really like the vibrancy of these colors. Uh, and they are going for more of a photorealistic kind of look to it, like that. That looks great. That's kind of what I was in picturing when I came up with the prompt. These look like real nature for photographs. I'm gonna go with this one. This one, if you saw that quickly, I think you'd think that's real. Uh, so, wow, very impressed. So this one, we're going to go with uh, this image here. It has the most elements kind of going on for itself. And I don't think any of them are going to be able to do all of that. There was a lot of different things I asked for and AI has a hard time. The more complex you make it, the harder time it has. All right, so last up we have Dolly 3. Now I use Dolly all the time within my ChatGPT, but as I said, Microsoft invested so heavily in ChatGPT and OpenAI that they get to use their programs. They put billions in there. Within Bing, you can actually do 100 images a day with Bing Image Creator and it is Dolly 3. They give you 15 quick boost coins, but then it takes longer after. So let's see how Dolly 3, which is what I most commonly use just because it's the easiest for me. But if you have a lot to do, this is probably a great choice for you. So very quick. Uh, Lovely. So let's go through these images a little up close. So there's some nice subtle wrinkles here. They got some nice shading on the face. The eyes are kind of freaking me out a little bit. The coffee looks good. The focus looks nice. This one, I don't know, she, the skin looks a little more plastic than in this one. You can see more of the pores like in the shadow there, which makes it look a little more real. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go with this one as uh, our winner for this. Dolly does have a harder time with spelling. So you can see groove. I like the idea what it was going for, but it didn't quite execute. This one, once again, I like what they're going for, but can't get behind it. This one's kind of cool. I just wish these could have incorporated Grow. I mean that, I think this actually, this incorporates it better than any of the other ones I've seen. So surprisingly in this case, I think Dolly is going to win the word challenge, which a month or two ago would never have been the case. Uh, so that's really cool. Let's download it. The ground is a little too red there. I don't, I'm not a fan of this one. There's something up stylistically with these leaves. I like the glow of the grass and the sunlight. That's a nice touch. But just, yeah, I wish the ground was so red. Uh, looks like this is going to be our winner. All right, so I'm gonna put them all together so we can see kind of how they stack up against each other. And I'll be we ready. We have our results. I've compiled them all together so we can kind of look at them side by side along with the prompt. First up, we have a photorealistic portrait of a middle-aged woman at a cafe sipping coffee. Her face shows subtle wrinkles with sunlight catching her hair. The background is softly blurred with people passing by. So I can tell you right now, Leonardo is out for photoreal. So that's the worst one. And Dolly would be the next worst. So now I would never know I was in a world between Ideogram and Google for most realistic. They both have really great merit. Um, but I'm going to have to go with ideogram for this. Like it just, that looks like a real person. Next up, our words. Lovely enough, first try every single one was able to spell, which is not, I'm not used to that. Um, so let's look at it. I would say Leonardo once again, the worst one out of the group. Between ideogram and Imogen, it's just kind of stylistic, so it's hard to say which one you like. I think, like, I like the vibes of Imogen more, but this one adhered to the prompt a little more. But I'd have to give it to Dolly on this word one, which is the biggest surprise of this video for me. Next up, we have our deer. Now, it's hard to do this one stylistically. Like, these ones are great, and I didn't specify a style. Like, this one, I would say, is a real image, so... Ideogram blew me away in this round. 
Um, I would say Dolly is the worst here, just the leaves, there's something off about them and like just how red the ground is. So I give it to Ideogram as the winner here. And then these two, it kind of just depends on your taste. Like it's, that's more of a style sort of thing. So if you're going for a painting feel, then one of these would win. If you're going for photoreal, this would win. And the only good part of this one is like the front here. And last up, the wacky wild one. Uh, all of them fail to some degree. And that's just kind of the way it is. I forgot to do a Dolly one earlier. So while I was putting it together, I just ran one with Dolly. This one adhered the most closely though. So like Leonardo will give it a slight edge over, I'd say Imogen is next. And then those two really were quite off the mark. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that there are lots out there. Everything I did here, you can do for free. As I said, Imogen 3 right now, you can, there's no limits on the amount you can generate. Uh, and eventually Imogen 3 will come into Gemini. So you can actually just, as you're chatting with their chat bot, you can generate images within it, which is pretty sweet. I would say Leonardo, you can only generate six a day on their free version. And I would say it didn't blow me away. Um, so I, I, I personally wouldn't really use it going forward. Ideogram, the, the new version, uh, that was the most surprising for me. Like I, they've come a really long way. Once again, for their second gen, you can only do 10 generations. So that's 40 images a day, but it's, it's worth using, uh, I think, because it's just such a high quality there. And then Dolly is really great for just run of the mill. I mean, you can do a hundred images a day. I don't think you're gonna be generating more than that. So depending on, like usually I'll run two or three, depending on what I'm doing. So here's an idea of kind of what they can handle. That's it for me, thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next one.